Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny here, and in this video, I'm going to be fishing with the Frantic Freddy Topwater Lure. I have featured this in past videos, but this time around, we're going to take a closer look and see what really makes the Frantic Freddy frantic. Let's make it happen. Whoa, there we go. Yeah! Woo, holy cow, folks. Top water Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny. Look at that beast right there, baby. I think I won the tournament with that one right there. I am the one with this one. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here. I want to welcome you to the next video here. And in this video, as I showed you in the promo there, it is on the what they call the Frantic Freddy Topwater Lure. And this lure right here that I'm going to be talking about, but then also fishing, is an interesting lure with a really interesting story here. And what I want to do in this video is just kind of take you through a little bit of a journey of how I got this lure. Here's the actual lure that I actually fish with now. And it's kind of interesting how I came about making this lure, recreating this lure, so that it works even better than it does out of the box. And one of the things about the Frantic Freddy is, and you may never heard of this lure before, but I definitely did quite a few different modifications to it to actually make it work and, and make it be a little bit more effective for me. And like I said, it's a it's just a, a great top water lure. So let's just talk about this for a moment here. Now, as you can see, it comes out of the box here. It's in the box this way right here. Let me see if I can get it a better look at it there. In the box like this right here with the red hooks and this color. This particular one that I have here actually got painted by a guy. Actually painted it. Gave it a chartreuse bottom on it. And what I ended up doing was adding a feather hook to it on the bottom. And then also I extended the actual treble hook here with a trapper hook here. So I have a trapper hook. So when I pull this along here, I'm actually getting it out this far further out when I pull it along here and that's allowing me for those short strikes to actually have a better attempt to connect with the fish. It's about three inches long. It's a hard bait as you can see right here but actually what happened was that I actually got this lure from an old bait shop in Kentucky and what I would like to do is I'm going to take you over to that bait shop in this video here so that you can see it and I'll give you a little bit of footage from that bait shop in Kentucky. So if you're watching this video, you might know where this bait shop is. But it was a number, about, a, about a, over a year and a half ago when I acquired this lure at the time of this taping here. And I'll take you to that bait shop so you can see that place. And then I'll come back here and give you a few more of my thoughts on it. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Topwater Johnny here. And I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm at Smyrna, Smyrna Bait Shop. So I'm in town for some business, so I thought I'd check this store out and see what they got going on. So I'll let you know, and we'll see what they got. All right, stay tuned. We'll see, as you can see here, lots of really, this store has lots of used baits in here. So lots of lures, lots of used baits, things that people have used in the past. And they just bring them back to the store here, and they resell them. So there could be some definitely some hidden gems up in here. You never know. You know, lots of cool stuff, lots of older baits. You never know what you could stumble onto here, a hidden treasure. So, I'm just kind of showing everybody, you never know what you might see here. This one looks, I like this one right here. I think I think that one looks pretty cool right there. With a little paddle tail on there, hard body. That looks pretty good. Let's see here. Let's see here. And then there, of course, there's the traditional stuff that you always see. But this back here is probably the, the cool part. All these used baits here. So I'm going to look through them and see what else I see. So like I said before, a lot of older baits here. Unique. Different. There could be a hidden treasure in here. I'm going to go ahead and get this one. I'm going to get this one right here. And I'll do like a little review on it. But it looks like a little, a little toad or... A little top water, of course. I love top water, so it's like five bucks. So I'm gonna get that. See what happens there. Of course, the usual baits and hooks. 
Yes, and of course, smiling animals, all the usual stuff you see. Well, like I said, it's a little store, all my journeys. So I just want to do a quick little documentation of it. So, all right. Hey, look at this. The Bill Dance Dancing Eel. Now, this right here is a classic right here. And I'm probably just going to buy this out of nostalgia. Not sure how it'll sell or what it's worth, but that is truly a classic lure with Bill Dance on it, the Dancing Eel. So I'm going to get that one for sure. Well, there you have it. We were inside there doing a little shopping. And uh, just wanted to, once again, this, what is that called? The Smarina Bait and Tackle Shop. They actually do repairs as well here. So they like will fix rod and reels. So if you're in Louisville, Kentucky, and you need some rods and reels repaired, if you're here fishing, why not come and check them out? And uh, I got a couple of items here. So what I'm going to do is do a little debriefing on those and go from there. Okay, well, there you have it here. You got a chance to see the bait shop and actually see when I actually bought the lure and you can see a little bit of that store and everything there. And as you saw in the video, that's where that location of that particular store was. And I was in town on business and I was like, man, I really want to check out other bait shops when I'm in other parts of the country. So I Googled it. I found it. It was near the airport. And so I said, I just going to go check it out, see what it had to offer. And that's how I stumbled onto the Frantic Freddy right here. And as I said before, this lure, kind of ironically, at first, from the reviews, it was built for pike. And it was built for big, big muskies. But in reality, bass love this as well. It's got a great action to it, got a great movement to it. And I'm just really, overall, really pleased with this lure. And it's one that I will definitely go to whenever I need to go after those fish and, something, and give them something a little bit different, with a little bit different presentation, and a little bit different type of motion on top of the water. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show you some footage of me fishing with this particular lure so that you can just get a feel for it and you can get your thoughts about it. So that's what this is all about. So please like, subscribe to the channel, and please hit that bell notification so that you are notified. My goal here is to definitely provide you with the best and most unique fishing lures and ways of seeing lures being fished out on the YouTube. And I think what I'm doing here is something that's very unique. And I think I've got a place in the fishing community to do this. But I really need your help. I need you to continue to support me in the sense of hitting that bell notification, hitting that like button. And of course, put it on your Facebook account. Share it with other people who love to fish. Let them see this as well. And together we'll grow and we'll be able to show people, hey, the diversity of how we fish and the ways that we can fish. So once again, enjoy the video. And that phrase is always the same. Keep your line tight, because when they hit those top water lures, it's going to be a big bite. Enjoy the video. There we go. There we go. There we go. Woo! Got that one. Got that one, folks. Look at that. Nice hook set on him, everybody. You can see how I got him on my little toad here. And he came up. And I got him, as you can see, on that trapper right there. So that was a nice, nice hit right there. I got him. So, you know. So you can just see right there that I got him on my, um, I got him on my little toe there. All right, so that's, that's all right right there. All right, not the biggest bass. But I got my first one. All right.
There we go. That's it. That's the spot. There we go. He's not that big, though. He's. Uh, no. Haha. -ha. Look what I got him on. I got him on my lure. On the lure I just bought. Yeah. Ouch. I got him, folks. On this little lure here. I don't know what that, what the kind of little frog lure here, but I got him. And that is all good. All right. Hey everybody, it's Todd Water Johnny here. I hope you enjoyed that video right there with the Frantic Freddy where I was able to put that to work and actually give you a little demo, meaning in other words, a description of it and really talk about it a little bit more in detail. But in this video, the goal was just to really show you what that Frantic Freddy can do on the water. You probably have seen some past videos of mine on it, but I never really took a closer look at it, a deeper look, just to really showcase it and show what I did to mine and how I adjusted it to make it work even better. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As I say always, videos, when it comes to this video and it comes to other videos, my goal is always to find new and unique lures i was really it was really awesome to be able to find this lure at that bait shop and then find the rest of them in order to get more of them so that was really cool and so i'm just really excited about this lure and i keep it in my arsenal because it always has a place and a purpose so once again please like subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification and always remember that phrase keep your line tight because when they hit those top water lures it's going to be a big bite. All right.